All right, this time we're gonna do is create our own uh, custom sessions. Uh, so hopefully you installed it gnome dash sessions dash fallback. Uh, we're gonna use that as our template to create our own, and we're gonna use it with Compiz. Well, you can actually use it with any Windows manager you want. It doesn't have to be Compiz. You can use like Openbox or whatever you want, all right? Uh, with the fallback mode. So let's do it here from the command line, which is, I think would be much simpler for people to follow okay so first thing you want to do is cd slash usr um, share gnome dash sessions and in sessions folder so go in there we're going to list it out um, the only thing that's really important here is we're going to use this one okay we're going to copy this one uh, the gnome dash classic uh, dot sessions here, so we're gonna create our own dot sessions. So to do this, we're gonna do sudo cp for copy, and we're gonna copy the gnome um, dash classic, and we're gonna rename it to um, what do we want to name it to? Gnome with uh, dash compiz, all right. So that's what we're gonna call it. Type in our password. And now we list it out again. We have the one that we just created, the gnome with compiz here. Um, so what we're gonna do is edit it. So to do that, sudo. We're gonna use yeah. We we'll just use gedit for you guys. Gedit uh, gnome with compiz dot sessions. So open that, and we have gedit here. Uh, what you wanna do is give it a name. All right. This is the name that's gonna show up in. Um, you know your login screen. <coughs> uh, you know where where you have your name and you have uh, different selections. So give it a good name. So we we'll just call it gnome with compass right there. So that's the one part here. The other part is this part here. It says default provider. You want to change the gnome wm to the one that you want to use. So if you want to use Openbox, you type in Openbox. But we're going to use compass. Because a lot of people like compiz, right? Uh, and that's all you gotta do for that one. Save it. All right. So that's the dot sessions. Now we have to create a uh, another one. Um, it corresponds to this, but it's a dot desktop. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. So step one is over. So I'm just gonna clear it here. Um, this CD into the USR. Um, share and it's called X sessions there okay just do that and in here we'll list it out uh, we have this gnome dash classic again but now it's not the uh, you know it's dot desktops now okay so we're gonna copy that also CD I mean sudo CP copy the gnome classic desktop and we're gonna name it the exact same thing but this time it's gonna be uh, dot desktop not dot sessions okay so we call it gnome with compiz uh, dot desktop alright so hit enter and then you just copied it so we'll list it out again and this is the one that we just created so what we're gonna do is sudo gedit and we're gonna use that gnome with compiz dot desktop and we're gonna edit again, okay? We're gonna give it the same name, call it gnome with compass. And here, the sessions, this is also the important part. Uh, this one says gnome dash classic, but the one that we want is the one that we created, which is with uh, compass, okay? So that's the one that we're using, all right? And just save it now. And that's pretty much it you can actually log out now and log into that one which um, you might have to reboot or you have to log out but anyways it'll be there uh, in your login screen next to your name and all that so what you want to do is go log into it and then we're going to enable compiz alright uh, by default compiz does not load so what you want to do is open your startup applications and you want to add in like a new one, like I say, add in. We'll call this Compass uh, Gnome or whatever, right? 
and what you want to do right here is type in compiz dash dash replace and also recommend using CCP this part right here is um, to load the what was that the the configurations so compiz dash dash replace CCP okay and that will allow um, your sessions to load up automatically uh, the next time you log in all right but by default it will just use metacity now when you're using compiz you, know, you won't be able to you know uh, do the out right click on your panel to do that so you have to actually uh, metacity dash dash replace to go back and then you can change it and that's the, the weird thing um, the next thing what I would probably say to do is let's go back to this we'll clear it now this part is already over we're just gonna clear it all right um, if you want to set it automatically log into your compiz um, you know sessions you can actually do that um, what is it cd et slash light dm I think it's someone here there you go that's the light dm config we're gonna we're gonna edit this um, and to do that we don't sudo gedit and light dm config right there in here all you gotta do is change this part uh, to the one that we created so all you gotta do is just change it to you know with compiz and it will load up into that session automatically if you have your system start you know to automatically log in if not you don't have to do this but if you have your system to automatically log in then uh, you can do your sessions right there that's really all I gotta do just save it now which I'm not gonna do because I already did all this uh, so that's it that's how you get compiz and if you have any problems just uh, hit me back up and I'll probably clarify some things alright but that's it for this one